वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माई नेम इज निशा मसरूर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट वॉट आर नैनोजेस नाउ आर एक्सपर्ट प्रोफेसर बोहिदार हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद नेशनल सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इन एग्रो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टेरी डाइकन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इंडिया ही हैज थर्टी वन ईयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च His area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. What is a nanogen? I will go into details of all these things at the at this point of time. We do not worry if you do not understand any particular sentence or phrase in what I am displaying. Okay. we will have all the definitions later on when we come to the details of this matter okay a gel material is basically a viscoelastic material viscoelastic material means you know that there are two types of materials we see in our everyday life and that is all around us one we have a solid there are solids all around the table chair your almira your bookshelf bed so far everything is a solid then there are liquids what are all organic liquids and oils okay so these are the two extremes in between these two there is a special class of material which are half solid and half liquid they sometimes behave like solid and sometimes they'll behave like a liquid so they have a solid has elastic modulus rigidity a liquid has a property to flow viscosity so these materials have both elastic properties and viscous properties so they can have elastic response also they can display viscous response so that's why these materials are called viscoelastic materials and that is the beauty of gels now a gel is typically made by linking or what we call in the language of polymer science cross linking various polymers in a very planned manner it's a, all these are done in a very structured manner there is no random organization of material to create a gel because then the properties will remain undefined or many times very strange and we will not be able to use it so in order to obtain the best thermomechanical properties it is necessary that we make these materials in a very pre planned manner wait 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 Are you worry about your project, training, dissertation, internship? Don't think too much because Nano Science and Technology Consortium, in short NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in. where you can easily enroll in the workshops so just check it out right now we'll see how these are done in real life okay so extending the definition a little further as far as the composition is concerned a gel is a material and nano gel is part of a gels actually which has basically two components one majority component which is mostly water so we call it a hydrogel but not all gels are hydrogel there are also organic gels that are there but we have a generalized definition we can say that is a solvent which is there in a majority 90% or more and there is a polymer precursor which is dissolved in the solvent which has a concentration of typically less less than 10% so this is a two phase system you have a polymer and you have a solvent so we are we are starting material for us is a polymer solution this is as simple as that now we strategically turn this solution into a gel state by using certain strategies okay we'll come to details of those things so below this i have given you a general example of a solvent plus a polymer under certain conditions it will become a gel and the gel has a size less than 100 nanometer we'll call it a polymer gel so one component is in a majority which is the solvent 
and the other component which is the polymer solid component is in a minority we need to have a synergetic mixing between the two to obtain a gel structure i hope you like this video further i would like to give you an important information that nano science and technology consortium organized the nanotechnology workshop on very interesting topics also i would like to tell you about the initiatives of nstc in which you can also be a part of mentorship patent commercialization joint product development research projects consultancy services nano materials for your research projects training programs or customized training programs workshops or customized workshops so that's all if you want to see these type of videos then please do comment we will definitely reach out to you subscribe to the channel now let's start and hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected